Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impression slash review and I've kind of done my first impression already because I've filmed this video literally so many times I can't even tell you. My battery either dies while I'm filming or just something goes wrong. So hopefully I can film this video and it works out. The last time I filmed it, everything worked out but I only got two minutes of footage and I was just like rushing through the video and I don't want to do that. So I let my camera charge for a little bit so hopefully we'll be good to go. So I picked up the Lorac Afterglow palette today from Ulta and I was so excited when I first saw this I had to run out and get it. Lorac released two um, new limited edition palettes and one of them was the Afterglow which is exclusive to Ulta and then I heard the other one is only exclusive to Kohl's and that one is the um, Summer Glow. So yeah but this one is more of a more bold out there palette and the other one is more neutral but this comes with two oversized neutral shadows and eight matte and shimmer shadows so this is the palette itself it's like a turquoise kind of blue shade with a gold lettering and it's really different from the Lorac Pro palette because the Lorac Pro has more of like a cardboard packaging whereas this one has a plastic packaging and the Lorac Pro palette has a magnetic closure whereas this one has like a clasp closure so going into the palette itself, it's just got this really big mirror, which I'm not trying to blind you, but you probably just saw my dirty bed over there. And then it's just got all of these really fun colors for the spring and summer. So I'm just going to just give you an overview of the shadows. I'm not really going to talk about them, like the colors, because you can obviously see what colors are in there. So going into the swatches, I did some awkward swatches, so I'm just going to let you look at these like this. But as you can see, they're really, really smooth and they're not really chalky. There are five shimmer shades and five matte shades, so you get a good variety. And then as you can see, there's some really pretty kind of out there colors like a coral, a purple, a kind of navy kind of blue, and then a minty kind of green shade. And then you've got more neutral shades, so I feel like this palette would be really, really good for travel. But overall, I really, really like this palette. I think it was really 100% worth the money. Like I said, you've got a lot of like neutral shades, but you also have some bold shades to give like a pop of color. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. There will be better swatches at the end. I took a lot of pictures, so there will definitely be more swatches at the end, so stay tuned for that. But I definitely think for $24, this did retail, if I didn't say this, this does retail for $24, and you get 10 shadows, 10 full-size shadows. So it is worth the money. They're super pigmented and buttery. As you can see, I didn't even use a primer. So yeah, that is pretty much all I have to say. Um, I had to pick this up because it is an amazing palette and I love my Pro palette, so I had to get this one. But yeah, I feel like if you haven't tried out a Lorac palette and you're thinking about getting this, I would highly, highly suggest it. I would highly suggest any Lorac palette, to be honest, because after my Pro palette, like, I love that way better than my Naked palette, so that says anything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for the pictures of the swatches at the end. But yeah, that's it. Love you guys. Bye.